What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. Today we have another collaboration lesson between drummer Addison Kurt and myself. His information is down below, you definitely check it out. Today we're going to be working on some more polymeter fun. Specifically we're going to be playing a 7-8 riff, which is in 4-4. So before I break down the riff, why don't we take a listen to it so we can see what we're dealing with, and then we'll come back and explain it. So like I said, the riff is in 7-8 over 4-4, four, four. and you have to remember that your speed of your 8th notes is the same regardless of your meter. So your speed of your 8th notes in 7-8 is the same as the speed or tempo of your 8th notes in 4-4. Four, four. So you can think about it, if you have a hard time with meter, just think about the riff itself is a pattern of 7 notes, and we're just playing it in 4-4. Four, four. So the riff itself is pretty simple, it's just we're going to play it in one position 4 times, and then we're going to move it down and play it in a lower position four times. So what we have is we have your low string. I'm playing on a seven string in standard tuning. You can play on a six string. It really doesn't matter. As long as you're in a standard tuning, the riff will work out fine on whatever guitar you're playing. So the riff, we start out, we're going to have our open B, our open low string. Play our seven on the next string, which is our octave. And then we play on the low string. So you have then you have open again, a little power chord on your low string, 5-7. So there are our seven notes. Okay? And what's cool about this is that when you play riffs like this or any kind of musical examples like this, is that since it's an odd meter, the riff is going to start on the downbeat and then it's going to shift to the upbeat and then shift to the downbeat and it's going to constantly switch up and down all the way through. And the other cool thing about it is that since it's one note short of 4-4, four, four, or 8-8, eight, eight, the riff is going to start on the upbeat of 4 on the first measure. And then when it carries over to the next measure, it's going to start on the downbeat of 4, and then the upbeat of 3, and then the downbeat of 3. So the riff is constantly shifting through the time, shifting backwards through the time as we play the riff. So we're going to work our way, like I said, all the way down on each beat, and then once we get to the first beat again, we're going to do a little 7-8 turnaround and start the riff all over again. So like I said, we have 07, 08, 057. And I'm going to do that four times and then we're going to shift. I like to palm mute the, every open note I play. Uh, low string open, palm muted. And then we're going to shift down in the first position, and now your notes are 0-2, 0-3, 0-1-2, a little tritone shape. So we're going to do that four times. On the fourth time, we're going to replace the last two, the last note, the last seventh note, on our A string, or our E string, depending on what kind of guitar you're playing, and we're going to shift it up a string, so we're going to be skipping a string, so it's two, little major seventh shape, it's you know one fret down from an octave. So that fourth time would be jump up there. And again, we keep that muted, that low string muted. And now our turnaround, your little power chord, one, three. Open, 2-3 on your 5 and 6th string, your 3rd shape, but again, 5 on your 6th string, so that's your 7 notes. And that turns the riff around. So let me play it slow for you, the whole thing. There you go. 
When you play it against four, you get a nice shifting meter feel. You can even, I know I control your open low string, you can even open up the riff when you come down into the first position. Gives it the riff a different feel, like it's opening up. Your drums can accent that as well if you want to. And that would sound something like this. Gives the riff kind of different feel, opens it up a little bit. So like I said, all the tabs are on my site, axcreation.com. You can download the tabs there and check it out and you can actually see the written music. Kind of helps sometimes. And uh, as always, let me know what you come up with. So until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.